Hello there, my name is Lanius and today will be quite controversial video. I mean, maybe at least I thought that video about Linux desktop was already a little controversial, but maybe not as much as I thought. So, in previous video, you might have spotted that I was actually using Windows and the thing is I actually have switched back to Windows after well many years of using Linux and in general uh, <laughs> being a Linux evangelist let's say and hating on everything Microsoft but don't get me wrong I'm still not a fan of Microsoft but you know sometimes sometimes you just need things to work and okay I know I know Linux is really good it's really fine at this moment to you know just a casual use I'm repeating that on and on and I really and I really believe this because most of you the users just need I don't know a browser that works and and that's pretty much it and most of the distributions have uh, an easy way to install programs so the only problem might be you know some differences in the um, in the interface itself and maybe some instabilities <laughs> but uh, you know Windows is also not like super stable and unbreakable right anyway with that out of the way of course Linux is great for developers for work and for the work alone I I actually had a little more challenges setting up Windows for my work than I had with Linux but but it works it's fine it's okay but mainly because of WSL without this it would be completely not a viable option for me at least <laughs> but why did I switch so I really said it's suitable for like casual users but uh, I mean Linux but it has some problems of course uh, the graphics stuff especially Nvidia can be a little iffy and but not only uh, Nvidia I had a uh, I'm the only laptop and while it worked perfectly fine it had some hiccups like sometimes uh, like sound will get distorted for a little moment why who knows I mean maybe someone would say oh you need to use this you need to change this configuration in pipe wire pulse audio whatever but guess what I don't want to and yeah but it's really a tiny thing other thing that was a little more irritating it's like the fact that I don't know I cannot uh, stream an app with the sound to discord or like I can't at all because Wayland or something because uh, discord flatpak of course largely it's a fault of discord but you know on Windows it just works but it's still not a big thing here 
another thing is that I I have a, um, an ultra wide monitor and for some reason I mean um, okay I played cyberpunk on it and it worked fine in the full screen but any other thing I wanted to say that uh, uh, full screen video but no I was just full screening the browser and it just got all fucked up like the whole screen was getting just some artifacts and that's that so sometimes the video wouldn't play but no I guess it was a problem with with Mac so Mac is also not very good with some things but it was pretty annoying also I use Proton for mail uh, I don't really use VPN recently but I also have an option and also in the package I have a huge drive which I couldn't use on Linux I mean I could and I used but it was via the browser so it is pretty useless this way let's be honest I had my next cloud but it was like a tiny VPS that I had to manage myself so it would pretty much go down any moment it had some encryption but you know and it didn't have like half a terabyte of data I mean it could have but I would need to pay for it and I am already paying for Proton so that's another big thing and only after using Windows for a little while I started to really appreciate that there is actually support for many services like you know I like the Proton Drive I even needed to install iCloud because because something <laughs> I mean not something because I use org mode and I use uh, Bjork an app on an iPhone by the way uh, for it which is pretty nice it supports uh, webdav so the protocol that Nextcloud uses its own cloud maybe some other things Dropbox some other things but of course not it's not supporting Proton so I needed iCloud for this and I couldn't do it on Linux because there is no iCloud for Linux that would actually sy synchronize the files so so yeah you might be angry because I kept talking about Linux and stuff but at the end I went back to Windows and I'm saying whoa this and that is good but it is no so what can I say one problem I especially had with Windows and it's also present in Mac was uh, was window management or kind of lack thereof other than dragging but Windows got really better I don't know if it is recent change or not because I wasn't like up to date for a while but let's take a look at this so here is the browser and I do something like that and now I can choose another window that will go there it didn't work this time because it's Emacs it's WSL window but now I can do something like this put it there and then choose Kitty which also didn't work because it's WSL and finally enough 
this thing didn't work at all with WSL Windows. But after recent update, if the WSL application uses X server, not Wayland, it just works with the Windows snapping. So I had to actually configure Kitty to use uh, XORG and not Wayland. <coughs> so basically I'm on Windows, but <coughs> apps I mainly use are still the same. So Vivaldi, Emacs, Kitty, also, you know, Discord or whatever. And two of these are in WSL, of course. <laughs> Actually, you could just install everything in WSL if you if you wanted to, to like treat Windows as your host system or some gaming system and then have WSL and every single application in WSL. I even have Firefox installed in WSL because because I needed to for something. So yeah, here it is. Firefox in WSL. Will this say about for Arch Linux? Because yeah, I haven't installed the default uh, WSL distribution, which is Ubuntu. I mean, I installed it at first, but then I wanted it on my second drive, not the system drive. So I had to do some little shenanigans to move it. And also I prefer to have just Arch Linux there than Ubuntu. And here we are. I can do a system update right in this moment. Of course, a lot of Haskell because I don't know uh, what uh, Pandoc, I guess, uses Haskell. So, so that's that. There are, of course, the workspaces now. So it is pretty nice. I would say I didn't know it. It is this fine. But as you can see, it still is weird because because of the uh, the fact that my main monitor basically is is ultra wide. It messes with the wallpaper here, which for a moment is right place, and then it just moves, it just becomes like the same scaling as the main monitor. But, yeah. So, yeah. I guess a lot of you may be angry. I am keep repeating that, but maybe you just don't care, which is fair. Which is very fair. Shouldn't really care that much about what someone uses. Usually the most irritating thing is when they themselves care a lot about what they themselves use. <laughs> so. That will be it for this video. I will keep making some Linux videos because anyway I would usually uh, do some stuff on in, in, in VMs for video so that won't change and I still use kind of use Linux in, in WSL. Uh, also there will be more programming videos we have like one uh, follow up on the Olama chat bot, but desktop this time. Also, there are updates to my Vim distribution, which, which I will be maintaining after all. 
but more like details will be in another video or just on the github uh, oh yeah and i also started uh, uh, playing with closure which is a lisp running running on uh, jvm and it's pretty interesting as well but i don't know if it will go somewhere maybe it will we'll see so thank you for watching and see you in the next one bye bye